Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial on John Mayer's Love Song for No One. Starts off with the capo and the uh, on the second fret and standard tuning. If you want a tab for this, go to the website um, and check it out. Okay, so I'll play it through uh, once at full speed and then slide down and show you what's going on. Intro going into the into the verse there. Okay, so the um so the intro starts off uh, with your thumb on the bass on the bass E and on the third fret middle finger on the third, on the, the E and the B string. Um, you see that that really quick first strum and then uh, go into the pattern. So it's down up down. simply bring that finger up to the second fret and it helps to leave your thumb there so you can mute that uh, the bass E because it's not played in the next three chords of, in the three chords of follow. And that next chord just brings in your middle and your uh, your index finger. Three on the on the B string, and that finger come your uh, index comes across that second fret. So that's just um, changing between which strings you put the emphasis on. So I'll show you the show you the right hand. Simply stick your middle finger on the second fret on the e, top E, and your um, your thumb can come back in on that bass E, muting the A string. So the last three chords of that run are exactly the same. So that transitions into the verse. And the verse always sounds uh, not that great on the acoustic, I reckon, but um, here's how it goes. So the verse has uh, two parts to it, and it starts off with the same, um, same first chord as the intro. Um, you just want to put the emphasis on these top strings and your first and your first strum, and then uh, put the emphasis onto the onto the bottom strings. Time that A string's being muted by your thumb, right, coming over the top. And you want to try and not have those top strings ringing um, for the last two chords in that, um, in that little bit. The, um, the second part of the verse um, has two chords that are pretty tricky when you first try and play them. So I reckon uh, keep your thumb over the top of the stage so you can get the A. And you'll see the formations from that uh, tab I showed earlier. So the strumming is just a matter of getting a feel for the song. And then coming up here. So all that's moving is your index is moving. And I just stick my uh, ring finger up there because I can't get over up there with my thumb very well. So that's 
the uh, that's the verse. After the verse, you've got the chorus, which again starts on the same um, same chord as the as the verse in the intro. And this is just four chords repeated, so pretty much. Um, and you just got to get the strumming pattern down. So the only difference between the two runs of four chords is the one the chord they start on. And it's quite easy because you finish up the first the first run like that, and this you can just bring that finger straight down. And the other trick is just when you're down here and you go, is that you've got to mute that D string. So when your fingers um, up here, you want to mute the on the A string, you want to mute the D. Following on from the chorus, you've got the bridge, which is made up of uh, four groups of three chords. And um, there's a bit of a picking pattern. And uh, the whole time you've got your pinky on the top E in the third fret. Chord, you have the bass, and you take your uh, index finger off the off the B string. Then the next group is the same as the first. And the last is where it gets a little different. That's a chord you'll get used to once you look at the formation and um, see the what's the most uh, instinctive way to play it. So that's pretty much love song for no one, and generally when it ends. It's um, that same first chord from the chorus, verse, and intro. And then it's just a bit of picking on the B and the E string. So if you position your fingers on the second on the E and the third on the B, from the capo that is, and then you can just come off and on with your, um, with your ring finger.